After two months idle, floating in the Rum Jungle River, it's time to raise the anchor and adventure on again. We're ready to explore Australia and find out what this beautiful place has to offer. This week, we're sailing to Fitzroy Island, where we clean Sylvia's hole before diving the incredibly lively Yungala wreck by Magnetic Island. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. been working our booties off and it is time to go adventuring so today we are setting out to uh, head out to an island called Fitzroy Island um, where we will clean Sylvia's bum because we've been in this river for some time now which creates just a big buildup of growth on our hull so we're gonna clean that up and then we're gonna make our way down to the Yangala wreck and Magnetic Island so have a kind of a fun week planned of adventuring. We got up early because we want to hit it at slack tide. That's when it's at its very highest tide and it stays there for a while. And that creates it where there's not a lot of water movement um, because with the tides going up and down, big currents come through here. And when you're trying to go take a dock, like we're about to, because we've got to go take get some fuel, um, you don't want a lot of current. So we're finally leaving our home at the Rum Jungle and we're gonna take off on our first adventure of Australia. Kat's been here three weeks and she hasn't known anything other than <laughs> other than this. this view. I'm excited to see how the ship actually goes in the water instead of just sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yee-hoo! We're free! Freedom! Oh. We're off to a grand start. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm all stuck. I got this. I got this. With the pants over. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, Rum Jungle. We'll see you in a week or two or three. We're filling up all of our fuel because I guess one good thing about Corona World is that uh, fuel's cheap right now. So getting our uh, petrol you don't know we have this petrol tank under our feet oh good under our feet right here how many liters did we just take bro no i don't know i would have 450 something like that 600 or something 600, yeah full, all the yeah, full yeah all the tanks all the cans and the big dinghy we are ready to go and then we we're filling up our diesel as well our tank is about 2100 liters and I think we're taking about a total of 1200 liters. Yeah, yeah we are. We're taking a break now because uh, we're waiting for the tanks to level out. We have a port in the starboard tank. Mm. All right, damage is $2,212.44 Australian. So. How many liters? Of uh, we picked up 1338 liters of diesel and 613 liters of unleaded and probably hopefully 4,000 liters of water so yeah. yeah Sylvia just gained like 5,000 pounds yeah she's, sit, she's sitting low she's got a food baby now, now. surrounded by beautiful turquoise water after about two months of looking at the dirty brown river water and we're nearly there we've just been motoring for maybe like two hours and it's right around the corner here and it's a marine reserve so there's more balls and it's gonna be nice and easy to get in check it out we're almost there someone brings me back
We just arrived and we had to go to Townsville and we got a part to fix our compressor and it's working so now we can fill tanks. We also took some nitrox tanks from town so that we can have a little bit of a longer dive and where we're going is we're going to dive a wreck called the Yungala and it's like probably the most famous wreck in Australia and it's like over 100 meters long and it's about 30 meters deep and it looks very cool and we haven't been diving in a very long time so we're all very excited. Yeah, I've dove it twice, um, and it's just incredible. So it's a ferry that sank over a hundred years ago, and it's like out in the middle of nowhere. It's in be halfway between the reef and land, so it's just in the middle of sand. So all this like life just flocks to it, and it's a um, really great spot for like big fish to hunt, and um, also to get cleaned by little. Uh, cleaning fish so it's literally like you're swimming around this wreck and you're getting run over by fish and like everywhere you look there's action it's just the most overwhelming dive you've ever experienced We're heading to Magnetic Island finally. A little bit of freedom, a little bit of sea, salty hair again, and it, it feels just uh, mind blowing. I felt like we were going to be in quarantine way longer than we actually are, and it feels refreshing. It feels super refreshing. I, I just can smell the ocean, and that's great. So it's 6.10 in the morning right now, but I just wanted to share that one of my favorite things about sailing, especially um, during passages, is that uh, I love having the morning shift, like right when the sun rises, because you get to enjoy a view like this. There we are, about five hours away from pulling into this harbor here on Magnetic Island. Getting into wintertime here in uh, Australia, and it's the wind is coming from south to north from Antarctica. Um, so it kind of brings this cold, chilly weather to normally like uh, pretty tropical Queensland. The wind is directly on our nose, unfortunately, on this way. So we've had to motor for about 20, 25 hours or so so far. Beautiful. We're the only boat out here, um, and there's a reason for that. We are actually in the midst of COVID, and they're just starting to find restrictions where you can move about, um, but there's still really no tourism and no operators. Uh, usually, 10,000 divers visit this site a year, but today, I can almost guarantee that we will be the only boat out here. Huge sea turtle! Oh my god, guys! It's just beautiful. I'm so excited to be here. I've heard great things about this wreck. We did motor all throughout the night. There's a reason for that. It's because we are 12 miles off the coast in open ocean. It can get rough out here. <laughs> Hence, a shipwreck being here. We decided to time it perfectly. So today, the wind is supposed to fall off and kind of die down to about nine knots throughout the day. And that should be calming these seas and then we'll have perfect diving conditions and that's what we're hoping for.
wallaby action earlier today when we came out of the dive and we were told that it is even better like at sunset, like right after sunset. So we've come at peak wallaby time. These are rock wallabies, not to be confused with normal wallabies. And the difference is these ones like rocks. Just joking. That's all I got. These ones have the word rock. <laughs> these ones have the word. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't, I don't have any. I don't have any rock wallaby you facts look like for you. A the nice part about being in Australia during COVID is that there's no tourism. So normally these wallabies probably got fed by like hundreds of people a day. But not right now. They are hungry, and they are eager for our attention, and we will give it to them. <laughs> give them carrots. They like kombucha too. You don't they give. They do like 4x, but not Carlton Mid. You don't give them avocados. You don't give them celery. You do give them sweet potatoes. You do give them carrot, like rooty things. They like roots. They also like popo, which is papaya, and moon melon, which is like a type of Australian cantaloupe. So that's what they enjoy. The trees here are just absolutely beautiful. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we we'll search for koalas and invite some welcome guests on board. I don't know how to vlog again. <laughs> ah! This is impossible! We are trying to look normal and nice. The wind is always against you. I was just filming right here and they opened up the little hatch from the back cabin and grabbed my leg and just scared the shit out of me. So I was standing right here and the little arm popped out and grabbed my furry boots. <laughs> 